Fala galera, beleza? Meu nome é Nathan e hoje vamos para mais um vídeo da nossa série de Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. Continuando exatamente onde a gente parou no último episódio, enfrentamos, enfrentamos não, demos de cara com a Hela e agora temos que vir para cá. Se você está curtindo a série, não esqueça de deixar o like E se você não viu os outros episódios da série Tem a playlist aí no cardzinho também Para você entender essa história Que é confusa e macabra Mas vamos lá Mais um pedaço da história, deve ser mais um R, pela lógica, é. Um R. Sigmund's sister trades ships with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfiatli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. Luck is not on their side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. É muito fácil vir do Sigmund aí, não? Vai muito louco. Eles precisam pegar uma espada nova, né? No final de tudo, opa. Tudo bonito. What is she following? You can't even fight. It's just a deception. How does he so effortlessly court the world and bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. Yeah. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one? Well, I... I watched you. And... You... learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So anyone knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up!
alguma coisa acontecendo lá dentro. Não parece ser uma balada. Apesar das luzes piscando. Espero que tenha uma espada. Pá, ah, um pedaço de pau lá pra nós ler. Outro aqui, são os últimos dois. Ué? Tá. Tá que tem que ver essa pra daí voltar pra lá. Sigmund e Sinfiotli are being buried alive. Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. That she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. I realmente não entendi qual é dessa pedra aqui. Tá faltando uma ainda. Pedaço de madeira, então. Ah lá. Ah não, ali é outra pedra. Não será que vão ter três dessas nesses santuários aí? Provavelmente é três, né? Três é o um número. Que o povo adora. Tá é tudo. Olha ah lá outro pedaço. Aquele sim tem historinha pra gente ver. Terminar a historinha deste capítulo. É, tem três mesmo, tem outro lá. Tô faltando só aquele S lá e que vai me incomodar até o final da série. Tem mais quantas fases? Uma, duas, três, quatro, cinco. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear. And Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named Gram. É que é essa espada que a gente vai pegar? Toda a história foi para chegar neste ponto. Será? É, é a espada mesmo. Grammar. 
by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shard. Ah. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. Go to the shard. Find it. Bora. Find it. There it is. Quatro. Pelo jeito. Eu sei que. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. Uh -huh. But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, uh, then comes the reckoning. Yeah. I think my squat. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. É, Tyrving. É que tem alguma coisa a ver com Tyr em si? Deus da justiça? Deus da guerra? Cartão no gráfico lá naquela. Opa, apareceu. Gráfico na montanha. Hum, isso aqui parece coisa lá dos hobbits, né? Do Senhor dos Anéis. Lord of the Ring. Uma casinha, mas é um túmulo. Túmulo comum até, inclusive, na... lá no norte da Europa. Se for hoje em dia, tem vários desses lá. Não sei se são abertos à visitação, mas eu sei que tem. Se tivesse alguma coisa ali do lado também, eu não sei. Ah, escuridão! E lá vamos nós. É, tá legal isso aqui. Tá escuro mesmo, Catocha. Dillian, eu estou aqui. Eu estou aqui para as provas. Like when we first met, remember? Ah, tem dois caminhos. Vamos por esquerda primeiro. Não seria o natural. Ai, já tô vendo que vou tomar susto. Ai. I'll find him. Que que é isso, Toshi? Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The 
flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Yeah, great that little hot pies. They don't know what they might do. Turn back. She has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. I can hear him. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> Agora tá confuso isso aqui. Ali eu já fui. Pelo jeito. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another Think. way. Think. 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 Focus. Think. Labirintinho. Ele tentou não passou ainda. A gente já passou. Pra cá. Fica gritando. Agora todos os caminhos da esquerda me levaram até. Um pedaço de pedra com história, né? Já acendeu, tá meio bugado quando as tochas demora para aparecer, mas que eu já acendi. Tá, aqui não tem tocha para mim acender. Tem um portão. Não dá para passar pelo portão. Esquece o portão. Vamos pro outro lado. Hum. What's happening? It's not him, it can't be. What's that sound? The voice is changing. What? That's not Dillian. That doesn't sound like Dillian. Herver ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Herver demands her inheritance. But her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents. And brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it, but the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. Ah, pelo menos completar uma historinha. Procurando que a gente tem que ir. Uma boa pergunta. Para quando a passar. Não, já li, já vi a história aí. Tá cá. Ela não pode correr de, com a tocha na mão. É uma tristeza. Ela lá não é. Eu já fui. Eu já fui também. Mas. Não tem pra onde ir pro outro lado. Odeio o labirinto. Odeio, 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 odeio. Acho que eu não fui pra esse lado aqui, ó. Um trono aqui, ou só uma cadeira, não sei. Tá viajando. É pra cá mesmo. Mas tá ficando mais forte. Ia dar pra acender o candelabro ali. Tem bugado a luz. Ei, caverninha. Desculpa. Eu cala a boca. Ela disse, né? Fazer o quê? Não vou poder respeitar. That voice. It's not Dillian. Não me diga. Tá mais? É essa, faz um mugido. Vamos pra onde tá vermelho, né?
Nada do ativo aqui. Nada. Vamos lá. Parece uma forja, sei lá. Dillian wants me to face my fears. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it in my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Look, see. I am leaving. You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Yeah? Primeira parte da espada. We did it, but there's more. Keep going. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. Mais três. Eu acho que são mais esses três, daí mais a, o final, e daí acabou o final do contra a Hell. Dá pra passar por aqui. E dar a volta mesmo. Será que dá pra descer aqui? Vou pegar aquele lado aí. Entendi. Não sei se exatamente tem uma ordem certa pra gente fazer. É que cada uma é a história de uma espada sagrada? Não sei dizer. Mas, vamos fazer uma em cada episódio, então. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Se gostaram, deixa o like, comenta, compartilha, se inscreva no canal se não for inscritos. E até a próxima. Valeu, falou e fui!